During the pandemic, I was looking for a place to go somewhere far away from all the other places I had been. And of course, Egypt was high on my list. So one of my friends, Ash, who I originally met in California, but is from Cairo, told me, hey, there's no pandemic here. There's no mask wearing, there are no restrictions, come over. And of course I said, that sounds great, let's go. So here is a little bit of our trip. Our first stop was at this restaurant, which is a very famous, well-known street restaurant. You'll find nothing but locals here. And if you don't speak Arabic, it might be a little difficult to figure your way out. But Ash showed us to this restaurant and it was everything that I never even expected it could be. One thing I learned about my trip to Egypt is that the food is amazing and it really baffles me that there isn't more written about Egyptian cuisine today. So this morning we had a couple challenges with our breakfast, but then they made corrections and we had a beautiful oriental breakfast here at the Cairo Four Seasons First Residence. And because there was a little area with the breakfast, mm. this is good. Okay, so when you come to the Four Seasons Cairo, order the oriental breakfast. It's the best thing on the menu by far. Wow. The Four Seasons Around the World okay, is well, always yeah. a joy to visit because they have incredible service, impeccable facilities, and it's always right smack dab in the middle of all of the cultural hotspots. A big fresh pineapple juice. Oh my gosh, it smells beautiful. Like I've been to Hawaii and I've had pineapple there and it is so good and it smells just as sweet. But let's taste and see what the verdict is about this pineapple here in beautiful Egypt. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Creamy foam on the top, good sweet juice in the inside. Thank you guys. Thank you Farouk. Thank you Osama. And we're going to go ahead and enjoy our beautiful time in Cairo. That's the flavor, like there's, it's, it's more rounded than the creme. The better it is, the way you have and the grapes and cherry uh -huh. and cup, which one? Uh huh. So, what else? No, you tell me now. I'm, no. I'm, this is like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not guessing. Street food, caution. Ash showed us this really delicious restaurant for breakfast, but I would not advise that you eat any street food without the advice of your friend or tour guide. I did eat street food in Mexico and for two weeks straight had Montezuma's revenge. Did you know about it? Okay. Do you like it? It's different than most of the days? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have this. We had, we had tomato and uh, onions and peppers or whatever, but we could eat them. Is it him? How was your food? 
It was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Time to go to the Yeah. Service. No comments. No comments. I've always had a dream of going to the pyramids and after reading The Alchemist, I definitely have wanted to go for a very long time. If you haven't read The Alchemist, get it. But I've had a dream of going to the pyramids and when we got to the pyramids, it was really shocking the whole experience. If you want to hear more about my thoughts, actually we started to do an audio recording as we were there coming upon the pyramids and we recorded our live reactions. So check that podcast out. It's called In The Moment and you can find it through the Go Girl webpage and that's www.thegogirlgrlnoi.com. Like this pyramid over there, this pyramid called for the queens and the child, and three bigger for the three king, because this area is called Giza. Giza called 4,600 years old, but not first pyramid in Egypt. Old. First pyramid in Egypt old is called State Pyramid, Saqqara. Saqqara far from here, like 21 kilometer, and he's called 7,000 years old. But all I win, you know, this pyramid because this is the higher one, the bigger one. Mm -hmm. So. All this pyramid also built in from one kind of a stone, of limestone. Limestone carry. We find this boat, Dr. Kamal al Malak, down under the grounds. And then carry from down, put it in crenation like this for the people end to see. After he get the stone and he work in his pyramid build, each king from the tree take like 30 years working his pyramid building. And then he make the pyramid like tombs. So when you go in, inside the pyramid, all the way down like this. It means salute for the king. Down under the ground, this pyramid, 68 meters.